Thanks. So, uh, having said that, thank you very much again for your support. I'll turn it back over. I know there's some people who want to want to speak. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bruce. I, I, we have to check to see what the impact might be on the Winchester office, but we, we know that this office attracts, it, in the past, attracted folks from all over Loudoun County, but uh, Clark County folks uh, came into this uh, and came into this office as well, so we look forward to, uh, we look forward, uh, to that. Next, it's my pleasure to introduce your, your state senator. Uh, senator Black represents the 13th District, uh, which is part of Loudoun County and, and uh, part of uh, Prince William uh, part of Prince William County. Uh, formerly, he, he, he uh, was a delegate from the 32nd uh, district of eight years. Uh, he's an attorney by trade, uh, but probably more important uh, to, I think, a lot of us. Uh, he, he also served his, our country uh, in the U.S. Marines and, and the U.S. Army Judge Advocate General, uh, General uh, Corps, the uh, JAG, uh, retiring as a colonel and was recipient of the, of the Purple Heart among many other uh, honors. So oh, wow. it's, it's my uh, honor uh, to welcome your state senator uh, here. To this Thank you. I really appreciate everything that Rick has done. And uh, before, I, before I make my brief remarks, I, I, I'd like to make a, a little shout out, and if you'll indulge me, <laughs> to, uh, to Charlie Grant. Oh. Uh, we're, we're here in the uh, facilities with uh, uh, Virginia Regional Transit, and it was Charlie Grant who many years ago struggled along with a couple of uh, couple of buses and started up Virginia Regional Transit, which has now become a, a major institution uh, throughout the state. So, Char is Charlie still here? here. Yeah. He's still hanging in here. So. <laughs> I'm very pleased that we're that we're opening up uh, this uh, uh, this select office for DMV um, uh, for those people who who would like to go to a full service DMV. Often this is an opportunity where we can funnel off a good bit of work and uh, and get people in, get them out, and it'll be very efficient and uh, and very very badly needed. Here they can get uh, uh, vehicle titles or registrations, uh, choose uh, new license plates, get disabled permits and placards, uh, things of that sort. Um, I've known uh, Rick Holcomb. He's, he's been running DMV off and on <laughs> as long as I can remember. <laughs> he has done a superb job, and uh, uh, the the state legislature has not served DMV well. Uh, DMV is, is sort of stuck with an old financing model. It goes way back, and when we got vast new resources for, for highways, DMV was sort of left out, and they were stuck with the old, with the old amounts. Now, meanwhile, here we are, particularly in this area, where we've got just phenomenal growth. I don't even know how many people I represent now. It started <laughs> off as 203,000 at the census. It, it may be a quarter of a million people by now. It's just, this is the way that we grow in this area. And uh, because of the limitations on funding, DMV is, you know, they're not able to keep up with this type of growth. And we've got to do something, and so uh, I expect to put in a study resolution uh, to, you know, examine the whole financing and, and, and the entire picture. But in the meantime, uh, I really applaud Rick for, for the tremendous work that he's doing and all of the workers at DMV. I, I've got to tell you, they are, you know, it's, it's like a factory production line. And you don't slow down. If you slow down, the whole factory collapses. <laughs> and, uh, so, so I appreciate uh, and applaud all of the DMV workers and the DMV staff who have been most helpful over the years. And thank you very much, Rick, for opening this fine facility. And uh, 
we look forward to more. We want to see a permanent facility. Maybe have, uh, we may need two or three permanent facilities <laughs> in Northern Virginia. Yes, sir. So, anyway. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Senator, for, for those fine, fine remarks. Uh, next, it's, it's my, my privilege to introduce uh, the Honorable Dave Barack, uh, who's with us, who's with us really every step of the way on this. Uh, don't take this long, but he bought, bothered the devil out of me. Uh, <laughs> said, Rick, when are you going to get something done up in the Percival area? And I said, Delegate, you know, and I would tell him what steps we're taking, and um, there was probably no one happier, well, next to me, uh, there was probably no one happier uh, than the delegate who said, we're, we're ready to go back into a Virginia Regional uh, Transit, and, and uh, appreciate all of, all of his help on, on that. Um, he represents the 33rd District, which includes parts of Loudoun, uh, Frederick, uh, and Clark Counties. Uh, he's been a Loudoun resident for 30 years. Uh, he pr probably moved here when it was a rural area, uh, <laughs> and he will probably live to see the, ne the new Fairfax, uh, or, unfortunately. Uh, he served in the General Assembly since uh, 2014, and I, I will tell you, he's already, even though he's, he's been there a short time, he's already making his mark. Uh, he's a very strong uh, voice on the, on the uh, House Transportation Committee, and he's, he's sort, of our, uh, sort of one of our go-to uh, go folks. Uh, and, and appreciate all of the support that he uh, provides to DMV and uh, would ask him for some remarks. Well, that's interesting. I didn't think anybody noticed me down there. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be here. Um, I have some background in customer service from uh, working in business. And uh, I know the difference between success and failure can kind of hinge on the slightest detail. If, mm. if you get the details right, send somebody out the door in a record amount of time, it's a happy experience. But uh, if there's something missing in a, you know, a, a detail, heavy transaction that very often uh, DMV conducts, if something's missing, then you have that, it turns into maybe less than an ideal experience. And uh, people always seem to remember you by, not by the 20 times you served them well, but by the one time <laughs> you didn't go just right. So I, I know that experience well. I think the, uh, the vehicle outside here, the mobile uh, DMV uh, facility, love the slogan, was drinking is uh, drunk driving. Uh, good message, good message in there. But uh, it, it just demonstrates that there's this uh, customer service attitude that addresses the, uh, the situation as it's needed. Um, Rick, thanks for portraying me as a, a squeaky wheel. Sometimes that's, that's what you have to do. <laughs> and I've got to pass off um, much of the uh, uh, credit for that to Mayor uh, Frazier. Uh, we had many conversations knowing that, that perhaps our success and, and ability to continue in public office hinge on the ability to solve a problem like that. that Maybe a slight exaggeration, but um, people don't want that bad experience. When, when they have a need, we have to address it. And, and uh, Mayor Frazier was uh, very generous with his time as we discussed the different options that I think, uh, to some degree, helped get us to the point where we are. So thank you for that, Mayor Frazier. Uh, thank you again to Commissioner Holcomb and your staff for being generous with your time uh, traveling to be here. And thank you, Mr. Simmons. I think you're the man of the hour. I'm <laughs> here and, and do part of the reopening of this DMV Select. I have pitched a couple of the things. Uh, the office provides convenience service option to my constituents in Loudoun County. And I'm very happy that the, uh, to assist, have assisted in the DMV forging this new partnership. So again, great, great work. Uh, making government services easily accessible to citizens is very important in Virginia. And it's something that DMV accomplishes quite well. With its 75 customer service centers, 50 DMV select offices, and mobile operations like we see parked outside here today, serving every corner of the state. Uh, the agency's website is dmvnow.com. It allows customers to complete more than 40 transactions in the comfort of their home and at their own schedule. So again, very customer service oriented. So thank you again for having me here today. And I encourage you to spread the word 
uh, throughout the area that DMV is up and running and personal and ready to serve. Right. 